So just a uh, brief description. Uh, well, uh, Captivate is software that we're going to that we are going to see in this uh, uh, brief webinar. However, uh, Captivate is only a part of the software solutions that we have for all of uh, our different instruments and AT systems that uh, Chroma uh, offers as complete solutions for different applications. Uh, we have. Um, we have solutions for uh, electrical safety testing, which is in uh, well, uh, in this case, we're going to focus on the um, on the different applications of Captivate that can be uh, useful for electrical safety testing. But the Chrome also um, has different uh, series of instruments and, and systems that can be helpful for you to. Uh, uh, perform power testing uh, and, 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 and uh, power electronics solutions, including electronic uh, AC and DC loads, uh, DC power supplies, AC pro uh, programmable, AC power sources, uh, grid simulators that their uh, main feature is that they are regenerative. Also, we have uh, different solutions for battery testing uh, from, from really uh, low capacity or really small batteries up to uh, complete solutions to perform different testing for uh, big uh, batteries that may be um, included into an electric car, just to give you an example. All right, so let's get started. Hey, Juan, before you start, one question. Hey, Larry, can you turn on your mic for a sec? Yes, sir, this is Larry. Hey, Larry. Um, hey, Larry, quick question. Are you able to mute everyone's mics so no one's interrupting Juan when he's presenting? Actually, he can do it. Uh, he's he's the host. So if he goes onto the participants and slides down to the bottom of the participants, all the way at the bottom, it says mute all. Juan, why don't you take care of that? Can you see that on the? Uh, if you go over to participants and then you just drag your drag it down to the bottom of that, you'll see. Uh, Okay, it's done. So, okay, feel free to unmute yourself just in case uh, you have a question that um, uh, you will need to review it. Uh, on the other hand, we also have a chat in which uh, you can specify uh, your questions. You can ask your questions and uh, we have uh, engineers that will also ha help you resolve them. Okay, so, Okay, let's get started with this uh, webinar. Uh, once again, thank you, thank you for uh, your time on um, on uh, being with us in this uh, webinar. So we really hope that this will be uh, useful for for you. And uh, let's get started. So the Chrome Captivate software. Um, this is a uh, software customized and designed by, by Chrome System Solutions that uh, is uh, uh, suitable to, uh, to remote control different sets of instruments for electrical safety testing and passive measurements uh, like uh, LCR meters and millimeters as well. So this webinar will be uh, focused on let you know how you can uh, automate the safe, uh, different safety testing and record the test results uh, in an easier way using Captivate. Um, so as, as I mentioned, uh, we have different uh, categories in, in, our, uh, Chroma, in our Chroma brand. So, we are uh, 
we offer AC power sources, electrical safety testing, which is uh, hypo testers, electrical safety analyzers, uh, ESD uh, component, uh, wound component analyzers, uh, passive component testers that are uh, LCL meters, millimeters, um, uh, capacitor leakage current meters, and on on our uh, on our side uh, we also have regenerative uh, grid simulators that can achieve up to uh, 100 kilovolts amps, and uh, they can uh, save uh, power that. Uh, that um, can be used in different uh, regenerative applications. Also, we have DC power supplies, electronic loads, and uh, battery simulators and testers, as I mentioned, uh, can be uh, used for testing uh, big uh, batteries that can be inside an electric car. Uh, power meters and uh, automated test systems that uh, can be built by our engineering uh, department according to the customer's uh, requirements. Okay, uh, what is the Captivate Chroma? I, I mean, what is the Chroma Captivate uh, automation software? Uh, this, this is a, a solution to remote control a quad or uh, aquatic and chroma electrical safety testing uh, equipment uh, in order to allow them or to program them to perform different test routines and test sequences in order to satisfy your test requirements. Uh, many times when customers acquire or electrical safety testing equipment, um, they, they um, don't have a specific software and they have to automate their testings because they may have many different uh, products that each product may have its own uh, test sequence and different um, electric electrical uh, 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 requirements. So in this case, what Captivate does is to integrate a software solution that you can use to configure your test requirements for every DUT model number that you have. And after that, you will, um, you will be able to perform a test just by specifying what DUT number is uh, connected to the instrument. So the Captivate can be suitable for um, an, automated, an automated test, including uh, DUTs that are in a conveyor, that reach a test station in which uh, the operator may connect the DUT or the DUT is nested into a fixture. And then Captivate uh, can be started to perform a test and acquire the test results. So why use Captivate? Captivate can be used by a wide range of manufacturers, including medical manufacturers, uh, appliance manufacturers, and other um, entities, including uh, certification uh, laboratories, as well as um, a research laboratories as well. So by using Captivate, you can speed up the, the production line testing process. And also at the same time, while performing the test and making sure that your DUT uh, meets the test requirements that the, the designers or uh, the developers of the DUT have specified in accordance to a specific standard that you have to comply with, like IEC um, or uh, UL or a different entity, uh, you can um, get the pass or fail criteria and also record the test results for for the reference in case you have an audit or you you want to track down a DUT that was just tested, tested uh, four months ago you want to make sure that if that DUT passes or fails the test and this will also help you understand or improve uh, your your tests, as well as that it reduces time for testing. 
So how Captivate works? Um, well, Captivate, as we said, is a software solution that runs under a Microsoft Windows operating system. And it it controls the different instruments that, that are included as the instrument setup. The instrument setup can be one or more different instruments from Chroma or Aquatic that will be uh, connected to the computer that, it's, uh, that runs Captivate. Then based on the instrument setup that you have chosen, that you have connected to the computer, um, you can configure the different test routines in order to create your test sequence based on the different test steps that are part or that are supported by your Chroma equipment. Now, the different tests can be as associated for DUT model numbers or in, K or in, um, in other words, if you have 10 different products that are um, different in power, power settings or uh, 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 test requirements, you can create different tests. So, and then can be associated to the DUTs or the products. So the time that the operator uses Captivate, it's only a matter of in inputting the DUT model number or the model that um, the product in test is going to be tested. So Captivate will load the appropriate test for that product that is going that is connected to the instrument. After performing the test, <clears throat> Captivate will retrieve all the results that are part of the width and voltage, either in AC current or uh, um, direct current. Uh, it can also get the ins insulation resistance and also tell you if that specific uh, test step passed or failed. Also, <clears throat> It will get all the all this uh, test information, and it it has the possibility to create different test reports that can be uh, uh, stored in a in a local computer or a network sh uh, shared drive uh, for uh, for evidence or for, uh, for a future reference that the test was performed and what the results were, uh, were. Any questions so far? Does somebody has questions? Okay. So, Okay, before going forward, uh, could you hear me, Paul? Yes, we hear you perfect, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the instruments uh, supported by Chroma, and um, I mean, so the, the Chroma instruments supported by Captivate are the following ones. I am not listing uh, the Quattech instruments that are also supported by by Captivate, we are going to uh, list them uh, a little bit later. But these are the, mo the the most used and the available instruments from Chroma that uh, are supported by Captivate. So the first ones, uh, we have the Chroma 19032 electrical safety analyzers uh, that can be used to perform um, AC and DC hypo tests insulation resistance, open and short check. Also, these two instruments can be used for performing active leakage current by using a leakage current scanner and an AC power source, which will turn on the, the power, the, the product that is in testing. And we are going to measure the active leakage current while the product is powered on. So this is part of uh, the uh, medical and, med uh, and appliances, different standards for different entities that as a manufacturer you have to comply with in order to 
uh, certify that your product is in accordance to UL, CSA, um, a IEC, a DENOM, etc. So we have the Chroma 1920 and 1920-4, which is a multi-DUT test uh, hypotester that can perform a test of up, up to 10 uh, products at the same time. So that saves uh, time while you have to uh, test uh, one product per time. Th by using this model, you can test AC, DC hypo, and insulation resistance by, uh, by connecting 10 products at the same time. The 19035 and 19036 are commonly used to test uh, uh, different wounds that may be in coils, in uh, motors, and other different uh, products that can that can be uh, um, um, that may have a coil inside. So it can detect different um, uh, issues, but. In this case, well, we are going to perform AC, DC hypo, the insulation resistance, and DCR, which is um, a resistance in DC as well. So we have also the 1952, 1953, which are basic uh, AC, DC, and IR hypo testers, and or uh, 1955, 1956, 57, and 57-20, which are the high voltage AC or DC uh, hypo testers that can achieve up to 20k, uh, 20,000 volts DC for higher uh, hypo test requirements. It also supports uh, the use or the control for a uh, Chroma 61600 a low power programmable AC power sources. So the AC source in this case, or for many applications can be used to uh, a power a product that is in test to perform active leakage current. Instead of having the, 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 uh, the, power, the product connected to the wall, which may have some sort of, um, deviation for leakage current and that may cause a, a, a incorrect measurements because the power may not be stable we can use an ac source to provide stable power and control measurements control po power controlled and get better results and more accurate and we finally have um which is uh, the ground bone tester, the milliometer, which is a 16502. Uh, and we have the support for the 11025, which is an LCR meter. Also, uh, well, in addition to this, Captivate is a, the software that it's included on the on the chroma sentinel systems which we have uh, sentinel one sentinel two and sentinel three uh, sentinel one is only um the, the captive software and uh the 1902 while sentinel number two is uh the captive software we have the 1902 for electrical safety testing we also include uh, a, a, a programmable AC power source, which is for uh, powering on the DUT. And while the Sentinel-3 includes all these uh, instruments, plus the Matrix-19200, uh, which is a multi-point uh, configuration for applying a AC, uh, AC high pod, DC high pod, uh, ground bone tests, and uh, active leakage current using several uh, points of testing. So if we have a product that requires to have uh, multi-point testing, including active leakage current, uh, the Sentinel-3 will be a, a good uh, solution for that application.
Okay, so okay, we already saw this. Okay, so <clears throat> when we perform a test, this is uh, this is the main screen in Captivate. The this is the screen that uh, the operator will be seen when uh, he performed tests. So we have the, the DUT model number in which the operator can use either a keyboard, a barcode scanner, or a different way to input data in which you will specify the model number of the product that it's in test. So it will be recorded, but also it will be used to load the appropriate test. So by doing this, we can discard the possibility that the operator may select a different test that may not that may not be suitable for uh, the product that is in test. We also have the way to input the serial number, which is also used to track down uh, the different results after performing the test. And all this data will be used and stored in a database, which uh, Captivate can go and retrieve the data that is inside uh, the database in order to create reports based on different filters or to generate the report that was for for the test performed. As we can see, um, the, the software GUI is uh, simple. So the operator only needs to specify <clears throat> the DUT model number and the DUT serial number. Captivate has a configuration that when you enable it, the DUT model number <clears throat> can be associated to a, uh, to a specific test. So when you specify the, uh, the model, the model number, the appropriate test will be loaded. And then the operator only have to start the test. After performing the test, you will see that uh, Captivate will say the test passed the te or the test fails, depending on each, uh, depending on that all the test steps in the in the sequence that you have specified previously are met. So we have the columns for the mode, which you can specify the, the name of that specific test step. We have the output, which in this case, if we are talking about a DC or AC high pot, is the output voltage that is uh, applied to the product. The measure in the, in the case of the high pot testing, it'll be the leakage current that uh, the hypotester detected when performing the test. So for high pot testing, the leakage current is important because we ensure that there will not be internal shorts or a um, the, or a defective product that may call that may be harmful for the end user. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, can, can you turn on your microphones by yourself? Yeah, you, people can turn them on. Okay. You can also turn on everyone's mic from the bottom. Okay. I do see a chat just came up and um, uh, asking if the Captivate software is free. Um, so Juan, do you want to re, uh, respond to that? Sure. Well, uh, Captivate uh, is a software is a software accessory that you can uh, that you can acquire. It has a, it has a price. Um, it's a software. I, I mean, it's a uh, it's licensed. So in every taste of station that you would like to use Captivate, well, you have to acquire a license. And uh, yes, it's it's price. It has a price. Okay, he uh, he understands that. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so <clears throat> the test programming is uh, a, a tab that in, in Captivate that help us uh, define our test procedure or the test sequence that it's going to be performed. 
for a specific test. If we, um, this specific test is, um, it, it's defined by your designers, by the entity that your pro has to be in compliance with. Um, in the most common situation is that you receive a document, well, as a testing, you, you receive a document in which uh, it says that your product has to comply with Winston voltage and the leakage current has to be less than uh, two milliamps. Uh, it also has to be um, um, tested against uh, ground bond in which the current has to be uh, higher than 10 amps and the resistance has to be less than uh, two ohms or, uh, and uh, well, this is just an example. So the test routines or the test requirements, you will be receiving them from your test designers, from the product designer or the entity that you have to uh, comply with. So here in Captivate, uh, when you, whenever uh, you you have a new test. It's only a matter of going to the test programming and select the different test steps that are part of a of the instrument that you are using. Uh, depending on the test that you are going to perform, you select it, and then you can configure. In this case, we are configuring AC hypo in the in this example. The AC hypo test allows you to specify the output. The output voltage in kilovolts, so we are applying 1.25 kilovolts, and then we have the high limit and low limit for the leakage current that uh, that our pro may uh, draw. So we can have a high limit that the leakage current cannot exceed that limit. And we can also have a low limit as an option when we already know what the current limit, what the current, the leakage current is. So we can specify that that value in order to know that our product is leaking, but at the same time is not exceeding the highest, the, the, the high limit that we have specified. Now we have the test time in which uh, a, we are going to specify this is a step, how many seconds it will be performed. Uh, most of the times, several seconds may be enough to know if the hypod was okay or not, but that merely depends on your test requirements. We also have uh, the option where, well, depending on the instrument that you have, we also have the option for performing ground bone testing in which we are going to apply high current to uh, to the product that may be in um, uh, that may be exposed to to the end user so we have to make sure that the current that we apply into the product is going to be in the third terminal it's going to be thrown to the third terminal or to the um, to the ground pin that is for uh, for customer safety. Okay, so when we are when we are performing a test, Captivate uh, allows us to know what is the test stat status. So when it's loading the test, what Captivate is doing is configuring the test the different test sequences in the instruments that we have connected to the computer and which are controlled by Captivate. After that, we have the option to let Captivate verify the different tests. The test may be already in the instrument, but we would like to make sure that every time that we are going to perform a test, the test steps will be verifying in accordance to what we have specified to be performed. When we see the danger, it means that Captivate has set um, has sent the signal to start a test. So, 
the danger uh, signal is that the, the instruments are performing the test and make sure that nobody is touching the instrument neither the DUT because it may be an AC hypo test, which uh, can be uh, uh, harmful for for the operator. So it's it's a matter of uh, letting uh, well letting the operator that captive is performing the test. Uh, the instrument the instrument is performing the test. Now the the last two uh, signals is when the test failed because one or more test steps were not met, depending on the uh, configuration, like uh, the leakage current for an AC high pot test exceeded the high limit that we specified, or um, the resistance for ground bond was higher than the, than the, um, than the value that we have specified as our high limit, or the DC resistance is not enough than the minimum value that we have set. The test passed, when we see the test passed is the DUT, uh, the DUT complies or the DUT has met all the different test result, the test sequences that we have specified in the test that Captivate performed. So whenever we see the test passed, it it means that uh, the DUT is in uh, is uh, well complies with all the tests that we have performed. Any questions so far? Okay. So as we mentioned, uh, Captivate has the uh, the ability to record the test results for each of the tests that are performed and they're saving in a, in a database. So we have two versions of Captivate, which is the Captivate uh, basic version and the enhanced version. So the basic version only uh, uses a file in, in the local computer that can be also specified in a network short, short drive for being shared by different stations that also use Captivate. And while the enhanced version of Captivate has uh, the option to allow you to specify a, 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 the Captivate database in an SQL server uh, that, you, that your company may have. So that the, advantage, the advantages of doing that is uh, that the test will be uh, the test process I mean, the test uh, results being saved into the database will be uh, quicker. And also that the test, the amount of data will be even higher. So as we have here, uh, we see the test results reports. Captivate uses um, the Microsoft Word application to create uh, different test result reports in which after configuring Captivate, after performing the test, Captivate can create a Word report that will be stored in the local computer or in the network shared drive by including all the test information like uh, the DUT model number, which is the product model number that you that you tested, the serial number for tracking down with um, unit was, per, was tested, the test name that you specified in Captivate, the test result, which is either pass or fail, depending on the test result. You have, you also have uh, the date and time when the test was performed, who performed the test, which is the user who log in into Captivate. You can have multiple users uh, with different uh, permissions each, uh, for, for each of them. You also have the setup name, which is the instrument setup that you specified in which um, you may have different instruments, but for a specific test, you may enable or you may select a specific instrument setup. And um, in the test results tab, uh, I mean, in the test results table, we have the, the test steps numbers that uh, were performed 
and also well, that are part of the test. Also, the modes when, in which we can either have um, the name of the test that has been uh, defined in Captivate, or you can specify an, an alias. An alias will be used for uh, will be useful for identifying that this specific test is. Um, it can be identified by your own procedure. So instead of having an AC high pod, we can specify a Winston, Winston voltage at uh, 0 0.5 kilovolts per, um, per section, 3.4. It's just an example. So it'll be a, a better way to identify the mode. The output may depend on the test uh, on the test step performed, which can be AC high pod or Winston voltage. Um, it can be current for ground bond. It can be uh, voltage for an AC source. The measure will be, in this case, either leakage current, can be resistance, can be uh, NA, which NA means that it does not apply. Etc. So the offset, um, one advantage of using uh, the chroma instruments is that most of our uh, safety testing um, analyzers and hypo testers have the, have the offset feature, which in this case, whenever you have long cables, a fixture, you can perform the offset to compensate what will be additional resistance, additional leakage current that may affect the original uh, measurements from your product. So by performing an offset, what the instruments do are, um, are to compensate the, um, the, test, the test leads, the, the fixture or additional uh, wiring that you may have from the instrument to the product. So that data, that measurement, or that uh, that uh, that current that may be added to the measurement will be discarded, and it will be uh, the the results will be only for the product, not for for the wiring fixture nest or any other <clears throat> um, any other way that will be between the instrument. And the and the product or the DUT. Uh, well, just just to let you know, DUT means a device under a test. Okay, just to create these reports, you have to have uh, Microsoft Word installed in the computer. It can be uh, from Microsoft Word 2010, 2013, and 2016. Okay. Okay, uh, to continue with the test reports, we can also have the section of test detail in, then in which the test detail specifies the different configuration and settings that were uh, selected in Captivate. So just for example, in the first step, we have preset in which it says that the pass hole was 0 0.5 seconds, the whole the the hold for step was 0 0.2 seconds, 0 0.2 seconds. I mean, while <clears throat> just uh, for for the step number three, we have uh, the ground bond in which uh, we have the current S amps three three amps. The high limit was uh, the head limit specified in milliohms was set to 100 milliohms. The low limit, we didn't specify a low limit. The test time that was used to perform this ground bone test was three seconds. And uh, the tweet port, which is a, um, a feature that has the 19032 and the 19032-P was not enabled at this time. However, the twin port is an, adv an advantage of uh, using the 19032 to perform both um, ground bond and AC high pot tests at the same time. So 
in, in for example, if your ground bound test requires 10 seconds to complete and your AC high but also requires 10 seconds per product that you are going to test, it will be it will require 20 seconds to complete the test. While, while by enabling the three port, both <clears throat> ground bond and AC high put can be performed at the same time. So instead of having the test for 20 seconds, it will be performed on 10 seconds. Okay. All right. <clears throat> then um, there is a little section that was, that is also included in the in the report. I am talking about this the standard report uh, template that it's one of the the word reports that Captivate can create. So we have the instruments used. The instruments used list the different instruments that were used to perform a test in which uh, whenever you configure the instrument setup in Captivate, we're going to see how to do it a little bit later. Uh, you specify the calibration due date and the serial number. Why it's important because you can track down what instrument was used to perform a test and the calibration due date can be used to notify the operator that the, um, the instrument is, do, is uh, near to do the calibration. And we have, we, we have this option to track down that the, cal the, the instrument was uh, calibrated at the time that we performed a test. Okay, we also have a feature that is historical search. The historical search can be used to uh, create an Excel spreadsheet that will list all the different test steps, all the different tests that we have performed according to a filter that we can specify. If we would like to know what, what tests were performed in um, yesterday, we can select the date and a captivate will create a an excel spreadsheet with, uh, that will contain all the results including the DUT serial number uh, model number who performed the test what instrument was used and all the details for the t for the different test steps that were performed uh, note that you have to have microsoft excel also installed to generate <clears throat> this specific um, it is a specific spreadsheet. Okay. Um, well, by using Captivate, you can uh, make uh, the safety testing simple by specifying your different test sequences and uh, assign them or associate them with your different products. So every time that an operator uh, specifies the DUT model number, the appropriate test will be loaded, and then uh, it will, Captivate will configure the, the instruments connected to it and select it in the instrument uh, setup to perform the test that you have specified. After that, it will retrieve the results and then will be stored in a database, but also the uh, test re test reports will be created. Okay, um, questions? Do you have any questions so far? Well, we are not finished. Um, I would like to perform a real real uh, test. So. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes, one. Okay. So this is Captivate. It is a Captivate software. So we have the DUT model number in here, the serial number and the test name. So the operator cannot choose the test name. There's a configuration to do so. We have the test programming. Uh, it only lists the uh, the instruments that we have set in our instrument setup. 
the instrument setup here we see the different chroma and quartic uh, uh, testers and model numbers that Captivate supports. So this is the list of the different uh, model uh, of the different testers that are compatible with Captivate. Now, when we create a uh, our instrument setup, we specify the interface that we are going to use. We select, we specify the serial number of uh, that is labeled on the on the rear panel of the unit, and we specify when the cal when the calibration date will do, so we can track down for full data information later on. After specifying our uh, instrument setup, we select it, and then it's going to be listed in here. So we have the test programming. In the 19032, which is this one, let me see if I can get the, okay, which is this one. You can see the screen of the 19032. And um, it lists, the different tests that we can perform. So we can specify AC high pot in which we are going to set the uh, the voltage, the high limit for leakage current, the low limit, a test time that it's going to perform for the test, a RAM time, an old limit. And then the mode alias, instead of having AC high pot, we can specify um, which then voltage AC, 1.5 kilovolts. And that will replace uh, the AC high pot name for uh, the mode. Okay. Then the reports, um, I will retrieve a previous test that I have performed. So I will select this one. Okay, it says, uh, what was the result performed previously? As we can see all the tests uh, passed and we're going to create our standard report. Okay, so we have the result here. So we have uh, the DUT model number, all the information in the header. We have the result as passed we have all this information that the test was uh, performed. If we would like to know what was the configuration performed, well, each test step says what were the, the settings used. So just in case uh, we would like to know what was um, the current uh, used for performing uh, ground bond, well, we have it here. So the current was used as three amps. And the instruments uh, used, well, we have this ones. And the calibration is, uh, it was calibrated yesterday, just as an example. Okay, um, I would like, also like to create a historical search, which is a, a spreadsheet. Okay, and it opens and we can see all the different uh, test results that were performed. So we have the DUT model numbers. We have uh, the serial numbers associated with the DUT model that we have specified and all the test results. So we also have additional information in, in, <clears throat> in case we have, we have used um, external scanners uh, that can be configured in Captivate as well for multi-point test. Okay, and I, as I said uh, before, uh, we have the option to configure the reports where they are going to be stored after performing a test. So we have the option to save on passed and save on fail. If we would like to know or if we would like to have the test results separated for the reports, we can create different uh, locations, even by using 
uh, an AdWords uh, Azure Drive so we can have the past and failed results. So it says uh, fail. And this was uh, the last uh, step that failed. All the other ones passed, but this one failed. So if there is one test step that failed, the test will be considered as failed. Okay, we're going to perform a test real quick that I already configured before. So let me load it. So we have, uh, we're going to perform open short check, which uh, this uh, specific uh, step checks if there is an open or a short based on a capacitance already uh, measured from the DUT. We can specify that a value lower than 50% of the capacitance will be considered as an open, or a value higher than 300% will be considered as a short. After that, we perform the ground bone test using three amps. And then after performing that test, we are going to use we are going to use the AC high pot test step to apply uh, 500 volts, and we will see that um, we will like to get a high limit to set as 15 amp, 15 milliamps. If there is a leakage current measured higher than that, this step will fail. Also, we have the option to specify a load limit. In case uh, the, the, the DUT is not connected, um, the leakage square may be near zero or even zero. So we can specify a load limit to make sure that there is current leaking as low as 0 0.01 milliamps. And that will be helpful for uh, double checking that the DUT is connected properly. Okay, um, DUT, I mean, uh, DC high pot can be also performed. And then we also have uh, in Captivate different options to let the operator check um, or let the operator decide if a specific test or a specific feature or characteristic meets or not um, uh, um, a specific uh, condition that the product may comply with. Just for example, if the DUT has uh, three wires, the operator has to, has to specify how many wires do you see? Okay, he has to specify number three. If he specif specifies a different value, it, the test will fail because we need to um, know, we need to make sure that the DUT uh, wires is uh, three. Or if in case that the operator sees that after performing the test, um, the DUT make a noise or um, or had the physical damage or anything like that. Um, that the instruments may not may not uh, be able to identify by themselves, but a physical inspection by the operator may detect it. We can use a functional check or numerical functional check as well. We also have a an, an option to trigger as an external process, which can be to open an external application that can do something else while we are testing or uh, we can open a Word file while testing just to, well, uh, fill out uh, some information by the operator or just for reference. That may be an option. Those, those no instrument modes are only options. Okay, so we're going to perform a test right now. So we can see let me try to make it a little bit bigger here. Okay. So I have the DUT 001 
whenever I specify it, I can also specify a, div a different one. Since we don't have any, any associations for this specific DUT, I would say that I have, sorry, chroma one, two, three. There is no D, uh, test that has that was associated with this specific test. So we can create associations in which we select the, an existing test already uh, configuring the test programming, and we can specify our DUT uh, model number. So I will specify Chroma 19032. I will create this association. And then the next time that I go and specify Chroma 19032, it will it will load the test that I have created an association with. And it's just a matter of perform, performing the test. Okay, it's going to verify the test. If we take a look at the display, at, at the camera, you will see that it's going to perform a test. Okay, it's performing the test. Okay, AC high pot. Okay, passed. DC high pot. Passed. And then is the DUT working properly? This is just an example. Uh, we can decide the operator to uh, decide if it passes or fail. Just in case there is a physical inspection, I would say it passed. So the test passed, it's saving the results. and it will be ready for a for another test, okay? So we can go to your reports and it's saved. So we have, we can open it and we have the results here. Hey Juan, just on a time check, we've got uh, four minutes left. Okay, yes. And one of the questions that have come up is, can you explain again the two versions of Captivate we have, one being basic sure. and then one being enhanced? Sure, we have two versions of Captivate. One is a basic and what is enhanced. The basic one uh, includes uh, the support for almost all, all the instruments except by the Chroma 19200 for medical uh, for medical tests. So if we go here, we're using the uh, the enhanced version. So let me try to show it to you real quick. So this is this is uh, the support for the 19200 medical uh, matrix in which you can specify many different configurations for AC high pod, DC high pod, enclosure leakage, patient leakage, patient auxiliary. This is a part of the of the Chroma Sentinel tree uh, test system, in which uh, this is more suitable for medical manufacturers, where it may have um, uh, products that can be uh, connected directly to to a person. In in this case, patients in hospitals, like defibrillators, like um, these ventilators, um, etc. cetera. So uh, this different tests are part of the Chroma 19200, which is also part of the enhanced. The enhanced version also includes the support for SQL server database. So you can use uh, your local SQL server a, a, a service in your company to uh, create a database that will be stored in SQL Server. So Captivate, instead ah. of instead of uh, saving all the results in, in a file that will be stored in a computer, it will save the results in a uh, in, in, in SQL Server. 
plus uh, there is a control for an NI6525, which is an input and output controller that will help you uh, to specify, to, to configure external buttons or uh, signals or um, lights that can tell you if a test passes or test fails or, um, or to start and stop a test. So, Juan, thank you very much. Uh, as we're approaching one hour, why don't you open up yes. the mics and open up for questions? Sure. 